Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a new feature for the MIDI Goblin that's called Remap. Uh, Remap allows you, in short, to redefine the MIDI CC values that your synthesizer or MIDI controller is transmitting. For example, this depth slider right here. When you move it, in the Remap screen, you can see that the device transmits a value of 77 for that parameter. Let's say this Korg Volca Keys um, it has a VCF cutoff that has a CC parameter of 44. Um, if I wanted to, say, control that 44 value using my depth slider, I simply enter the number here, click yes. You can see that it's been set. Turn on remap, and so you hear that. Change it. You can see it lights up because it's received a message. This can be pretty useful for a lot of different reasons. Uh, a lot of synthesizers don't have the ability to change their transmitted CC values. That goes without saying. Also, a lot of older MIDI controllers don't have this ability either, which is super frustrating if you want to control something like uh, a synthesizer, but the synthesizer requires certain messages. The MIDI controller can't output it. It can be very frustrating. New MIDI controllers do have this ability, but you might not have a new one. If you have remapped all of your CC parameters and you want to save your remap, you can go to the Save Load menu and press Save to save a new file. Here I've got one already made up for the Volca Keys. It uses 15 of these parameters here. I'm going to click Send to load that. And uh, I wrote up a fancy little map here for this device. Bonk. And uh, you can see that uh, moving these values changes those ones. Why is this useful? Well, if you're able to edit all of your synthesizer's values, then we've made it possible for you to save that patch as well, um, which Normally wouldn't be possible with the Volca keys. Here's a few little patches I came up with just a couple minutes ago. This one sounds like garbage. <laughs> Weirdly enough, that sounded exactly like my drying machine that just went off. Amazing. Uh, here's another one. And uh, let's say this one. Pretty cool. This is not only useful if you want to save a patch for a Volca Keys, but if you want to easily edit the parameters of, say, a micro Korg, which is legendarily annoying to have to program, uh, Remap might be a good option for you. If you already have a MIDI controller that can access those parameters, you don't probably need Remap. Stay tuned. Uh, please do follow us uh, on Instagram, here on YouTube, uh, Facebook. Um, we have a Kickstarter coming up soon. Uh, please do go to midigoblin.com and sign up for the Kickstarter email list. I'll be uh, making an announcement pretty soon about when the Kickstarter is going to start. Um, this is a one-man project, and I really need your guys' help to bring this to market at an affordable price. I could start selling them now, but they would be expensive, and I want to be able to sell these for at a price everyone can afford. I uh, hope you're all having a good day, and uh, yeah, have fun. Oh yeah, also I added a MIDI MIDI through for notes as well. That's the Korg Volca working. How about that?